Hey guys, it's Ray. So today I wanted to show you how to make this Christmas wreath naked cake. So for this one, I printed out the stars, like template stars. I'm going to have the picture on my blog, it's linked below, in case you want to use this ones as well. But I'm going to cut a few of them. And the sizes you want to go for pretty much depends on like the size of your cake. Mine is a six inch one, so I don't need like the huge stars. Then I'm going to be working with some fondant. I'm using the one by Wilton and I actually really like it. I made a review on that one if you want to check it out. I'm going to be working over a piece of wax paper using my roller with my rings on it that so you see on the uh, edges of the roller and this is just so I can have the same thickness all throughout my fondant. But I'm going to be putting my uh, stars on top in there and I'm just going to cut them with my X-Acto knife. I'm going to be using this gold luster dust to paint them with some almond extract and I'm going to be using my brush as well and this is how I painted the stars. I didn't go for this, the big one, but I, uh, this is how I painted the rest. So I'm just going to let the stars dry. Now I'm going to be making the bow and for that I'm going to be using some red and white fondant and I'm just going to roll them into like snakes like this shape and then I'm just going to place them together and I'm just going to make like the candy cane shape by uh, swirling them around like this and this is how I'm going to be making the bow. It's actually really easy this method. For the middle part of the bow I'm just going to be adding a small tiny piece of fondant and I'm just going to let it dry. Now for my cake, I'm using a French vanilla cake box mix, but I'm going to be cutting my cake in half with my cake leveler. I'm going to be putting the top part on the bottom and I'm just going to uh, fill it with some whipping cream, some jam and a few chocolate chips. And I'm just going to be covering this with what used to be the bottom part. As I mentioned before, this is going to be a naked cake, so I'm just going to be adding my whipped cream on top, just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect because I think the whole concept of a naked cake is for it to look rustic, kind of. So yeah, I'm just going to be taking then my huge cookie cutter. You can use anything else that has this shape, but I'm just going to be using this to uh, guide myself as to where I'm going to be, you know, working on my read. I'm going to be working with my Wilton 1M tip, and I'm just going to be adding some rosettes like that. And then I'm just going to be uh, decorating this with my bow and my stars. Stars is like different sizes, really random as to where I place my stars. And then I added some like tiny white sprinkles all over the place. And I added some like big white sprinkles as well. I think it looks way better with the sprinkles anyways. And yeah guys, this is the idea that I wanted to share with you. This one is one of my fave ones because it's really easy to decorate and it's handy. It's simple, but it feels festive and Christmassy. So yeah, I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope you have an amazing time with your family and friends if you're, you know, celebrating. If you don't, I hope you have an amazing time as well. This is pretty much it. I love it. I really hope you like it too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff I upload weekly. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.